What's going on guys? GeoSnow right here, welcome to Mode My Eye. Today we're discussing about a tweak called Pacifia, which is basically a clipboard, a very advanced clipboard for iOS. It's available on the uh, Big Boss repo, like here, and it's called Pacifia 2 for iOS 10. It costs $1.99 if you're a first time user, or 99 cents if you're updating from a previous version, like the um, iOS 7, 8 or 9 versions. So um, let's get into it. I'm going to show you what it does. I have the messages application, for example, because it brings me the opportunity to paste something. And uh, in order to activate it, you go here to the emoji key and you're going to have it. You have English, well, your language in there, emojis and Pacifia. If you go into Pacifia, you're going to see a couple of pastes that you, you have uh, taken, of course. Uh, initially, it's going to be empty, but as you go ahead and copy things from web or from notes and so on, they're going to show up in here. You can see that I have two uh, individual things. I have um, I am a cougar and I have an article in here, which means that Pacifia brings me the opportunity to copy and paste without, you know, switching ahead to different views. I just copy everything and then paste them where I need. So this is pretty much what it does. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to go here to the notes. And you probably know that iOS itself only lets you copy one thing at a time and paste it in a note or in a message and so on. But I have a couple things in here that I, I would like to copy. So, for example, I want to copy this and this. You can copy them. As you can see, I have copied uh, both of them, which normally on iOS would replace, would overwrite the previous um, uh, copy that I made. Then I'm going to go here into the messages, open Pacifia, and you can see I have everything in here, including the old articles and so on. And I can uh, copy everything into the message by pressing on it and everything appears right here. So this is basically what it does. Let's see how you can configure it. So on the settings panel, it does give you a couple options in here. So I'm going to go here to the settings. You can see it appears in here, Pacifia 2, and it can be either on or off. You can disable it. Then you have disable in applications. For example, if I don't want it in the messages application or in any other place that supports copy and pasting, I can simply go ahead and disable that. For example, disable it in contacts and it's not going to appear in there. Now, um, the max pasteboard history. By default, it allows you to, uh, to have 40 entries in that pasteboard that I have shown you in the messages. But you can of course go ahead to add more or even less. It, it also supports a maximum of 100. So, fair enough. Then you have the options in here, skip keyboard, and they are all explained. You have the limit number of characters, which is enabled by default. Swap the, uh, the delete key, which isn't uh, enabled by default. Then you have the notifications. Now this is enabled by default and the dark keyboard, which isn't. The dark keyboard simply makes the, uh, the, the uh, Pacifia black. So I'm going to show you now, like here, it is white. It used to be black. Also a uh, quick note, if you press on something and um, do this, you swipe to the left, you can either delete it from here or add it to the favorites. And if you go here to favorites, you can see what I have in here. So for quick access and so on. Let's go back in here. You have the notifications, which means that every time I copy something, I'm going to get a notification. Let me show you. I'm going to try to copy I am a cougar or just cougar. I'm going to copy. And as you can see, it brings me a notification. If you press on it, it's going to, to go to Google and search for Cougar or whatever you have copied. If you want to change the search engine, you go ahead in here and select anything or simply disable it. And um, then you have the, um, the keyboard sounds. You can have different sounds. By default, it can be off. Okay, then you have the uh, view pasteboard history, which shows everything you have copied or pasted um, on, the, um, on the application. You can also clear everything up or you can clear the favorites or if you want to actually remove some individual um, individual articles or individual um, you know copies in here you can simply swipe to the uh, left and you're going to click delete and it's going to go ahead so um, going back in here you have the data management which actually creates backups you, know, you have the auto backup you can disable it you can restore a backup or create a backup or delete a backup and um, I'm going to do this and I'm going to create one. You can see it has created a backup and I can restore the backup. And there you go. 
And of course you have the support tab with the authors and the uh, translation helpers and so on. You can um, actually go ahead and see their Twitters and um, whatever their social medias are. And you can also press this button here to post on your Twitter something about, um, about Pacifia if you have your account configured and if you want to share it. And this is pretty much your lot, this is what it does, it's fairly interesting, as I said, $1.99 in big post if you're a new user, or $99 if you're updating from a previous version. So, this is actually it guys, till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated.